This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Welcome to your Saturday, East Alabama and West Georgia. This is your primetime forecast for August 17th, 2024 from Dr. Don's Weather. Don't forget about the venue at Five Points Farms. Get in touch with Cindy and Jeff Monroe to schedule your next outdoor event at the venue. You can get in touch with them by calling 334-863-0087. You can also check them out online at fivepointsfarms.com. Also, get your ducks in a row with Ducas. Jamie Ducas can handle all of your insurance needs with Alpha across Alabama and Georgia. 256-831-7770. Or you can click that link at the top of the video to get in touch with Jamie Ducas. Let's talk about some weather. We may have to deal with some strong thunderstorms today and again tomorrow. And then as we head toward the first part of the week, a cold front will move through, push all this mess out of here. And we've got a preview of fall on the way. We're talking much lower relative humidities by the time we get to Monday. When you get up Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, it's going to feel like fall outside. Overnight lows are going to dip well into the 60s, and there's no chance of rain through at least the first half of next week. Let's talk about severe weather possibilities. We have a marginal risk. That's only a one out of five, so we're not talking about a red letter day across most of Alabama and Georgia today. The main threat here is going to be damaging straight line winds. And then as we get into your Sunday, depending on what takes place today, because today's event and tomorrow's event is highly conditional, uh, but depending on what happens today, we may see redevelopment again on Sunday. And if we do, some of those storms could get even stronger than what we may see today. And we're talking about a slight risk category. That's a two out of five, basically from Chambers, uh, Tallapoosa, Southern Clay, and Coosa to the south, and then a marginal risk north of that. So weather aware today and again on your Sunday with a possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms. Taking a look at your tropics this morning, Ernesto pulling away from Bermuda, moving on off to the north, maybe a glancing blow at Halifax by 2 a.m. Tuesday morning, but for most of the United States, maybe just some rough seas out there on the eastern side of the Atlantic Ocean. Current conditions from the venue at Five Point Farms currently 74 degrees. Feels like 75 outside. Wind is calm at the moment, but occasionally gusting to three out of the south southwest. Humidity is 92%. The barometric pressure at 30.00. The current dew point is 71. High temperature yesterday was 94. It is not clear outside. It's mostly cloudy. And the sunrise this morning was at 6.07. The sun sets this evening at 7.26 p.m. Headed for 92 this afternoon in Roanoke and Wedowie. 93 over in Franklin. We'll hit 91 at Pine Mountain. Auburn tops out at 94 and Rockford will hit 94 degrees this afternoon. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. For today, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. I think any of that would be later on this afternoon. Uh, that will linger into the overnight hours. We'll hold on to that 50% chance. Again, some storms could be strong to marginally severe this afternoon. 92 will be your high, down to 71 for your overnight low. Then on Sunday, Big question mark because it all depends on what takes place today, but we could see strong thunderstorms again tomorrow. A 30% chance of afternoon thunderstorms. 92 will be your high. And by the way, we'll have coverage for you here on Dr. Don's weather if conditions warrant. Then as we head into next week, 
We got some Canadian air headed this way behind that cold front. It's going to clear things out. It's going to be nice. We're still talking daytime highs in the mid to upper 80s, but that humidity level is going to be almost non-existent. So it is going to be dry. It's going to feel nice. Look at the overnight lows. We get down to 62 degrees Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. It's going to be kind of chilly when you get up Wednesday morning. It's going to feel nice as we get set for the fall months across the southeastern United States. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar showing a line of showers this morning from about Charlotte, North Carolina, stretching down to around Atlanta. And then there's a void there from Atlanta all the way back down to around Montgomery and Tuscaloosa. And then that line picks back up again down south of Jackson, Mississippi. Also, I will uh, bring your attention to two other areas, one just south of Nashville. It's primarily moving east, but maybe diving a little bit south of due east. That could skirt extreme north Georgia in the next couple of two or three hours. And then a bigger complex of showers and thunderstorms in Arkansas uh, that's moving off to the east southeast. That may make it into southwest Alabama. Uh, unless it builds back to the northeast, I don't think that would be much of a threat for East Alabama. Uh, but other showers and thunderstorms will develop as we go throughout the day. Uh, let's zoom in a little closer for you on East Alabama and West Georgia. And you can see uh, that at this hour, other than maybe a sprinkle down there in extreme northern Chambers County and northern Lee County, we really don't have that much taking place across East Alabama or West Georgia at this hour. If you're traveling up toward Atlanta, though, you've got some showers out there on the east side and south side of town. And then back toward Tuscaloosa, we have a few showers moving through the western part of the state of Alabama. So we discovered something yesterday. We discovered that our online weather store had been taken down because of the vendor that we were using uh, decided uh, they wanted to switch to a different third-party vendor, uh, which is fine. Uh, the prices are going to be cheaper, and the merchandise is still just as good. So if you've been trying to go support us on our weather store, we apologize for sending you to the wrong link. We had no idea it was down. Uh, and, and, and emails, appropriate emails have been sent <laughs> to that vendor, by the way. Uh, but we have a new weather store link for you. You can see it right there on the screen. And at the top of the video, you'll find a clickable link where you can click on it and go over to our weather store. Now, a uh, couple of new things here. We have a couple of new items out there on the store. We have a, more options for you as far as the caps are concerned, the coffee cups and t-shirts. And again, the prices are lower. Uh, and that's how you support us here on Dr. Don's Weather. Head over to our weather store. Again, the best option is to click the link at the top of the video on Facebook. It'll be at the bottom of the video on YouTube. And support us. Part of the proceeds from the sale of those items come back to support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. Also, do all of the social media things. You want to like us, share us. You want to subscribe to us on YouTube. Click that little bell so you'll get notified. And if you own a business, we need your support. So send me a message on Messenger, and I'll explain to you how you can sign up today and get started with us by the time we do our next weather forecast, which, unless we come back for severe weather this afternoon, will be first thing tomorrow morning right here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center. Powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook. Share us with all of your friends and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.